Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Michaela, and today I'm going to be doing my summer makeup routine. So let's get started. My summer makeup routine is a lot different from my winter makeup routine. It's a lot like more natural and lighter because you know it's summer and you're gonna sweat all the makeup off anyways, so it doesn't really matter. But this is my everyday makeup routine. First, I'm gonna put these little clips in. Woo, I dropped one. To keep my hair back, and these are from Amazon, and they're in my Amazon storefront. First up, I use this Laneige water, I think it's called water bank moisturizer. So I use this as like my base, not a base, I don't even know, just like my moisturizer. I take the Super Goop Glow Screen and I mix it in with the moisturizer so then it's like all mixed in. I've seen the bronzy drops but I've never been able to actually get them. So I just have this and it works pretty well. So, I don't know. And then I just like do that. And I just mix it in with my hand. I'm like trying not to get my hair in it. <laughs> this gives me like a nice bronzy like look. And it also like covers a lot of like, I don't know. It just like evens out my skin tone I feel like. And it makes me look more tan, which is perfect for summer. See, look at, look at how tan and glowy I look. Amazing. Then I use this Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer. So I use this. And I either use this or, what brand is this? I think it's a Milani concealer. But this one is like a little more matte and this one is a little more like dewy. So if I want dewy, then I go with this. And then if I want matte, I want this. I just put this right here. And then like on top of my eyelids. And then just like everywhere you would put concealer. And sometimes I'll go without foundation and and I just use concealer and the super goop, but some days I don't. So we're gonna see how I'm feeling today. If I want to put on foundation or not. Because a lot of times during the summer, I'm okay with it, just like this. But we'll see. And I just blend it out with beauty blender. <laughs> Sometimes I wet my beauty blender and some days I don't. It just depends on what I'm feeling because it's a lot of work to go to the bathroom and like put it under the sink, you know? Sometimes I'm just not feeling that and today was one of those days, so. I think today is gonna be a no foundation day, so that's always a good day. But if I were to put foundation on, I would use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation and I love this foundation so much. It's like literally perfect and it is, it's just, it's the best foundation I've ever used. So I'm obsessed with it. So this will, this is like my ride or die. I love this. And I use the shade 2 Neutral. Okay, concealer is done and now we're going to move on to bronzer. So I have this like... Physicians Formula Matte Butter Bronzer and it's like a powder bronzer. I want a cream bronzer. Sometimes I go to my mom's room and I steal her cream bronzer, but I don't feel like getting up today to go do that. So just give me that little bronzy glow. <laughs> Bronzer's on and it looks a little bit weird. Like, you know, my nose is like a little too bronzy. But we're gonna fix that when we put on blush. So I use this blush, it's Freelance Cream Brush. This blush is like literally amazing. I'm obsessed with it. Every single time I wear it, I get compliments on it. And it's just like so cute. So it's like a little squeezy blush and it's like hot pink. And it's just like, it's just adorable. Like it's the perfect glowy blush for summer. And I'm like literally obsessed with it. Boom. Blush is done. I'm gonna blend it in a little bit with this blush with this brush from Mary Kay. Isn't this adorable? It's like a little heart brush. How cute. And it's pink. Well, but now it's kind of tan because of like the foundation. But I'm just gonna like blend it all in using this. There we go. Now moving on to eyebrows, I use this Winky Lux eyebrow pencil, whoopsies, and I'm always too scared to do too much of my eyebrows because my eyebrows are pretty, like, already there, pretty prominent, 
so I just like lightly go over it like that and then I brush through it with like the other side whenever I do like jobs they always do my eyebrows so dark and it makes me look like a whole different person so that's why I'm like always so scared to do my eyebrows because it like they're so scary sometimes like even right now I think they're a little bit too dark because I was distracted while doing it so I'm gonna like try and blow that out a little bit are they too dark? I think they're too dark because I can see them in the little camera. That's a little awkward. Um, hold on. Let me fix this. I'm just gonna use like a little bit, just like dab that, and then like blunt it out a little bit. Cause I don't want really dark eyebrows. It like makes me look scary. And I don't want to look scary. It's something. See? Okay, that looks better. I don't know if that made a difference, but it did in my brain. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of an eyeliner today. So I have different, multiple like different colors of eyeliner that I like to use depending on the day. So I have like this pink one from ColourPop, this purpley magenta one from ColourPop, this blue one from ColourPop, a black one from Florence by Mills, and this white one from NYX. And I'm like kind of obsessed with eyeliner. Like I put it like either over or under. But I think I'm gonna put it over with this light pink today. So my new obsession is like putting it like on my waterline. I think it's like so cool, especially with the blue. It really makes it pop. But I'm just gonna do like little wing moment right here. But I need my mirror, so I'm gonna be focused for a minute. Or two. if you're close up. Now I'm moving on to mascara. I have this mascara from Mary Kay. So I'm going to use this mascara. And mascara is really when the whole look comes together. In my opinion, like, I, I love mascara. I, like, have never found a mascara that I, like, absolutely love, though. Like, I just use different mascaras, like, every single day. Like, whichever mascara I get in the mail, I'll use that. Or like whatever mascara I see in the store, I'll use that. And then I'm gonna put it on the bottom lashes too. Sometimes, some days I don't do bottom lashes and some days I do. It depends on how I'm feeling. Slide. I actually only got a little bit of mascara on my eyelids. So that's, that's a win. I did pretty well with not getting mascara all over my eyelids today. Pretty fab. So that's mascara, and now for lip gloss. I have a few different favorite lip glosses. I really like this one from Rare Beauty in the shade Blessed. It's like this cute little peachy color. And then I have this Charlotte Tilbury one in Hot Emily, which is really nice for like occasions. And then I also have it in Kidman's Kiss, which is like my everyday fave, which I love to use. And then I have Either, I either do the, this Rare Beauty lip gloss over in the shade Nearly Rose, which I'm basically out of, or I use like this Freelance Sparkly lip gloss over. But today, I think I'm going to do Rare Beauty um, Bless shade, and I'm going to do this because it kind of matches my shirt, like a little peachy. So cute. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to use this sparkly freelance lip gloss over it. Just for a little sparkle, because I like sparkles. There we go. And then the last and final step is setting spray. I have this one from Slay All Day. I honestly don't know where this is from. This is always scary. And that is my final summer makeup routine. I hope you enjoyed. I did a little like natural summer makeup, which is perfect for summer. I love it. And I really love doing my makeup. Like it's very therapeutic to me and like relaxing. Like I know I don't need to wear makeup, but I just love makeup. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I also want to thank you for 100,000 subscribers. I'm so grateful and I love you all so much. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those post notifications so you get notified every single time I post a brand new video. You can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Zigazoo at Michaela.Andrews and Snapchat at Michaela A. Andrews. Bye! Also, all the products will be linked on my YouTube, so make sure to go and check that out.